course, I'd recommend farming a sword that has damage boost to all. So, it'll help with everything that you're farming, of course. So, uh, NSOD is a really good option if you have if a lot of time. If you're going, that you have a game in its current state where there's things that... There's things to farm for where it's just like you could set a keyboard macro and it would farm it the same as you sitting there, wasting your own time. If there are things in the game like that, where you can set a simple like three button keyboard macro and it would do it to the same extent of you sitting there clicking those three buttons on your keyboard, I think that's okay. Sotek says, if you could have made a major change to AQR, what would it be? Now, I've got a couple actually. I think one of the main ones would be to remove all glitches, all bots and hacks and all exploits because if you, if you didn't have your glitches and your bots and stuff like that, I think it would make the game so much more enjoyable just because change, just because then there's no cheating, there's no like quick way around it, there's no shortcut, it's like the actual game itself. Equest Worlds. I get asked this question a lot while I'm streaming. How do you get the no bots armor? The no bots armor has become like a theme of my YouTube channel and my Twitch. I mean, it's my favorite armor. If you want it in real life, and it's there, the no bots armor for one Cinderace souvenir and a thousand gold. I hope this has helped you out. I want to see everybody with the no bots armor. Every single person in Adventure Quest with the no bots armor. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to bring up is a tweet from Alina. It put out a poll asking basically if we all wanted to be able to use a bot. So Adventure Quest would make a bot that everyone could use to level up, gain XP and gold. Now my response to this, you may have read this message, you probably didn't, was me just suggesting just lowering the requirements for stuff because that would be the easiest way to do it. The community is and such involved that it is a controversial topic. And the reason why it's controversial is because botting has sort of formed its own separate community within the overall AQW community. But thing is someone said download link question mark. So obviously that's satire, clearly, but there are some people in the community that are ignorant. They, they don't realize botting's a thing. And they'll be watching this video or Ray's video and they'll still I honestly had no idea that there was a big community of people who um, who did do all this. I thought botting was a, a much less widespread than it, than it is. Obviously, since since a uh, time when I was ignorant like that, I have learned more about, you know, how many people bot, and you can kind of get an idea of what percentage of the player base does it. For example, uh, the word comment is, it's really rude, and so, I mean, obviously he said it in a very rude and offensive manner, but he said, well, fuck you, Lebot is awesome because repping is so fucking hard, and Lebot makes it kind of easier, and not everyone can spend money in games like you fuckers with no life. Try to think of us like common players before you make a dumbass video. By the way, I haven't watched the video yet, so it's just my opinion on the title. Haters can go fuck themselves. So, obviously very rude. Why would you make it- why would he call the video dumbass if he hadn't watched it yet? But yeah, he brings up a good point, which is not everyone can spend money in games like you fuckers with no life. Now, obviously, very rude, but- and obviously you shouldn't comment like that. But by nature, AQW is a very grindy game, and so it means that AQW is very boring. And on top of that, AQW uses a very basic class system, a very basic, um, like, ability system. And the combat is very basic as well. When you fight monsters, it doesn't change. Nothing is, uh, is- causing you to think about what you're doing, and so as a result, you don't need a human brain to play QW. You don't need to make human decisions. You, you, all you need to do is uh, make a very linear decision. You know, it's, do I click this button or this button? And a computer can make that decision. Do you have fun when you're playing a QW? And uh, then I went on to say, like, you're sitting there fighting a monster and you're genuinely having fun. So I'm talking specifically about combat. And I ran the poll and the options were yes or no. So you do have fun or you don't. And uh, it was 50% of people said so they didn't have fun when playing EQW. They they are dissatisfied with the gameplay, and that that's a a big portion of the player base, on my poll at least, that says that they uh, aren't satisfied with the gameplay. I'm not in the minority when I say that EQW is a pretty boring game to play. I'm overall, I'd say EQW would be better off if they didn't have bots. Bots encourage players to to not actually play, even if it is fun, because at the end of the day, you are just getting shit for free. So it's it's pretty it's pretty attractive as an as a concept. But like. Day number six.
six without sleep. I'm crashing. Next, my consciousness will go. The panic isn't settling in anymore. It's just there. The scream in my mind is coming back. Um, we've been doing this, we're gonna be celebrating our 10th year anniversary in October. Uh, we've signed up um, a little over 150 million registered uh, players over the past 10 years. I hope that we can impress this upon our, our, our younger members of our audience who, um, the temptation of sitting there and playing our games forever, we'll have to kick them off after a while. But, um, and obviously you've seen that the numbers have dropped, right? And that's for three reasons. One, Flash is just having a bad time on browsers and, and people and accessing it is way harder. Two, <clears throat> um, we made a really radical change to the code and we obsoleted an awful lot of uh, the third party programs that they were logging in with and I kind of wish we hadn't done that but it, we can't undo it so uh, there's that. Yeah. Please go download our launcher. <laughs> Can I tell you a secret? So anyways, Void High Lord is arguably the best class in the entire game. So when you look at it like that, yeah, I can see why everyone wants it, but you don't have to do the clean cut process of just grinding at it all day, fighting RNG and doing all that fucking retarded bullshit. There are several approaches that you can take to achieve Void High Lord, and some of them are very, very fast. So, aside from the obvious, you know, just going to Elemental and farming shit with Nugath Lavia, right? If you have this... But aside from that, there's another way to get Void High Lord pretty quickly. Just bot. Seriously, download a bot program and start botting. Now, <laughs> am I saying botting is a good thing? It's not a good thing, it's against the rules, but AE's doing jack shit about botters, so it tells me that I shouldn't care about them either. So go ahead, bot, bot to your heart's content, because nobody gives a shit, okay? So you might as well just do it, alright? Get your fucking Void High Lord, and yeah, I mean, let's be real, there's a difference. Sometimes you've got to grab life by the balls, you understand? Sometimes you have to put others down to achieve your goals. And that's completely fine. Do you know why? Because you're a soldier. Alright, you're a warrior! You get that Void High Lord. And you break the rules while you do it! Seriously though, I don't recommend you bot. I really don't. It's against the rules. But, uh, like I said before, A is do doing like diddly fucking squat about botters. Okay? So, yeah. You shouldn't give a shit about them either. And if you want to become one, then good on you. <laughs> Peasant! So what have we learned from today? Okay, so one, we've learned that AE doesn't care about botters, okay? And two, you might be a peasant. So yeah. So see, when I got Void High Lord, I... Hang on. Wait. That's not Void High Lord. <laughs> I... 
I don't have Void High Lord? I DON'T HAVE VOID HIGH LORD?! What the fuck?! Okay, let's uh, let's see how far I've gotten. One point. I've gotten one point. In two days. I've gotten one point. Ah! Ah! I'm tilted, man. How could they, they double down on nonsense, man? <laughs> like, what? What kind of nonsense is this? So, they make a new capstone set. For gear that is such a huge grind to be put into a game that yet again, no one wanted or asked for. Especially when the system requires so much grind to achieve that it burns out your own community. RX Entertainment, are you trying to make your own players leave your game? I'm going to start calling you Blizzard Entertainment for how out of touch you are with your own community. So, unless you're some kind of crack addict who had, you know, a thousand capstones lying around, and they just, nope, uh -huh, you just have to level up, ha ha, hee ha. Uh, even though we're gonna make a new, we're gonna make a new story arc next year, and uh, these capstones are going to be useless. Haha, ha, you have to level up. So if you if you want these specific stats, you're gonna have to level up. You're gonna have to play our game forever. In bullet form. One, no one wanted infusion. Two, no one wanted valor gear. Three, you fucked over the people who wanted to get a head start on capstones. And four, you keep putting grinds in that burn your players out, and you wonder why people leave your game. But you know what? I have real life shit to do. I'm an adult with adult responsibilities and work. I, I think AE doesn't quite understand that. A lot of the players are adults. We can't just sit here and farm all day. But wait, unless... Unless me and the homies have spent all of our capstones leveling up our gear. Chapter 4, ignoring feedback and nerfing, buffing things that make absolutely no sense. I'm just, this just tilts me. This just tilts me. Because I worked hard to get to 751 so I could do the raid. And what do they do? They just release a set that you could get, that's plus 20 anyways. Like... Do better. Okay, so if botting in the game, official botting wasn't cool enough, we have 